we've been talking about this playoff simulator where we simulate the favorites to win each game this Saturday and this Sunday and see how that affects the playoff picture moving forward. Now, there's a lot of playoff scenarios for many teams, which we're going to update after we uh, simulate these games. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to week 18. I'll go ahead and pull this up here in just a bit. And then we're going to simulate the games. But I just want to go ahead and give you an idea of what the playoff picture looks like. So for the AFC, that's where the most, I, I guess, implications lie as far as not only seeding, but also who's going to be making it into the postseason and who's not. Because there's two playoff spots still available that are currently held by the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the Sunday night football game between the Chargers and the Raiders, more than likely, more than likely, there's a chance it's not going to be like this, but more than likely, it's going to be win and you're in, lose and you're out. And I say more than likely because the Raiders can still get in if they lose. It's like if the Ravens lose and the Colts lose as well, then the Raiders get in. But we'll update you guys on the playoff picture and which teams have a chance after we simulate each game. So let me go ahead and pull up. Uh, the favorites to win each game on my iPad right here and then show you guys on my computer uh, the playoff simulator. We got the two Saturday games, right? The Chiefs and the Broncos, the Cowboys and the, and the Eagles. If we elect the Chiefs to win, for instance, because they're the favorites to win, we go update that. And then momentarily, the Chiefs, they move up to 12-5 and five, and they move up to the first seed. That means after Saturday's win, if the Chiefs win, they got to have their fingers crossed and be like, Hey, Tennessee, I hope you lose to the Houston Texans. I, I hope they sweep you in the series this year because we want that number one seed. So the Chiefs move, move up to the first seed temporarily. Now for the Cowboys and the Eagles, if we simulate that game, which the Cowboys are seven-point favorites in this game, uh, we update that. It doesn't really update. It doesn't change. Like The Cowboys stay at the uh, fourth seed. And... Uh, you know, that could be because of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the tiebreaker that they lost to them. Uh, the Los Angeles Rams have been really good in the NFC as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like after those games have been simulated. Now, let's go ahead and simulate the remainder of the games. The Steelers and the Ravens, both these teams are in line to make a playoff spot, potentially. But let me go ahead and read off what is on the line for both the Steelers and the Ravens. Uh, for the Baltimore Ravens, I have it pulled up right here. A lot needs to happen for them. Uh, they need to win. The Chargers need to lose. And the Colts need to lose as well. And the Dolphins need to lose as well. So one win and three other teams need to lose for the Ravens to have a chance to make it in. Uh, for the Steelers, it's a little bit easier just because they tied the Detroit Lions. They have that half game over the Baltimore Ravens. They need to win. The Colts need to lose. And that's it. That's it for the uh, Steelers. And then that would make it into the postseason. So let's go ahead and pull up who the favorite in this game is. And it's going to be the, wow, actually, the Pittsburgh Steelers are the underdogs in this game. So the Ravens, who have been on this five-game losing streak, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the Ravens are five-and-a-half-point favorites. So they win. If that happens, the Steelers lose. Now, all of a sudden, the Ravens are in contention of making a wild card spot. But again, Chargers, Colts, Dolphins, all three of these teams need to lose. Is that going to happen? Keep that in mind with the Baltimore Ravens. Moving on over here to the Bengals and the Browns. This one doesn't really have many playoff implications. I mean, the Browns are out of it. The Bengals already have it locked up. They're the third seed. So the Bengals are favorites to win in this game. They stay at the number three seed. Uh, for the Packers and the Lions, no playoff implications here. The Packers are the favorites. Aaron Rodgers might be resting up. We don't know. Uh, they already have the first seed. Win or lose, regardless, it does not matter for them. The Titans and the Texans. Okay, remember, the only thing that matters at this point is if the Titans win. Because if they beat the, Tex the Texans in this game, they move on back up into the number one seed. For the Chiefs, they drop down momentarily to the number two seed. So the Titans are the favorites to win in this game. Let's go ahead and click them, and then they have the number one seed locked up for the season. All right, now, the Colts and the Jaguars. This is a very, very, very important game for playoff seeding and for the Baltimore Ravens, who are the favorites to win in this game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Can the Colts beat the Jaguars? Well, if you look at the favorites right now, Indianapolis is a 
favorite against the Jaguars. So they are going to win. So that already eliminates the Baltimore Ravens. The Colts just need a win, and they're in. So the Colts lock up that playoff spot if the favorites were to win each game. The Bears and the Vikings, uh, this game does not have any implications at all. Uh, but Minnesota is a favorite, so let's just go ahead and pick them. Uh, and then we scroll a little bit down. We've got uh, on this side, Washington and New York. No playoff implications in this game, but the Washington football team are the favorites to win. So let's go ahead and pick them. The Saints and the Falcons. Okay, now transitioning over to the NFC. The only thing that really matters for the wild card as far as the Saints go is that they need to win and the 49ers need to lose. Okay, so the Saints are four and a half point favorites to win it in this game. Let's go ahead and pick them. Pick them to win. Nothing changes right now, but the 49ers down here, when we get to their game, keep that in mind. They're nine and seven right now. If they lose, the Saints move on up and clinch a wild card spot. Then we move over to the Jets and the Bills. No playoff implications here, except that the Bills could potentially win the AFC East if they were to get this win. So the Bills are the favorites to win in this game. Actually, 16-point favorites, so let's go ahead and pick them to win. And they lock up the AFC East uh, for a second straight season. The Patriots and the Dolphins, uh, it was going to be a playoff implications if the, the Ravens were still alive at this point. But since the Colts won, they're out of it. And since the Bills won, the Patriots can't really lock up the uh, AFC East at this point or the number one seed. So the Patriots, they're six and a half point favorites. Let's just go ahead and pick them. They're locked in. And you'll have a Buffalo versus New England matchup coming up next week in the playoffs. The Panthers and the Bucks. the Bucks are the favorites to win in this game. So they win. They momentarily move up to the second, stream, uh, second seed. And it depends on the matchup between the Rams and the 49ers on what the future holds for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then you've got the Seahawks and the Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals just want to continue moving on up after having that victory against the Dallas Cowboys and the seeding aspect of it. Uh, but, I mean, if the favorites win in all these games, it doesn't really matter at this point. The Cardinals are the favorites to win. And since the Cowboys won and, and all these other teams, uh, then the, the Cardinals, they remain the fifth seed. But depending on the matchup between the Rams and the 49ers, if the Rams lose, the Cardinals win the NFC West. If the Rams win, that the Cardinals would stay the fifth seed, and they would have to face the Dallas Cowboys uh, next week in the wild card. And the Rams are the favorites to the win in this game. So, look out. The Rams win, and the Saints clinch a playoff spot. Can you believe that? So, this is a big game for San Francisco. They have to beat the Rams, or the Falcons have to beat the Saints for the 49ers to get inside the playoffs. But, if the favorites were to win each game, You've got the Saints now going into the postseason. An offense that has been trickling down, that has not been looking great, has a good chance of making the NFL postseason. Now we go here to the Sunday night football game between the Chargers and the Raiders. Uh, you know, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a close one, but the Chargers are three points favorites to win in this game. Uh, so if the Chargers win, let's go ahead and click them. They get the seventh seed if the Raiders win in this game then the Raiders would get inside of the playoffs here at the sixth seed the Colts would drop down to the seventh seed so if all the favorites leading up to Sunday night football were to win then truly you'll have a win and you're in lose or you're out game for Sunday night football which is going to be so entertaining to watch in Las Vegas but the favorites to win are the Chargers so let's go ahead and take a moment to recap and see what happens if the favorites were to win each game this weekend, you've got the Titans and the AFC locking up the number one seed. The Chargers and the and the Chiefs and an AFC West showdown and the wild card is going to be happening. Uh, they've had some pretty good matchups this year, so don't count out the Chargers, even though they're the seventh seed. Uh, the Colts and the Bengals would be a pretty good matchup with Jonathan Taylor against Joe Burrow in that high-powered passing offense. Should be a good one. And then an AFC East battle between the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they split their series one and one so it's going to be uh, up in the air on who's going to win that game. Over in the NFC, the Packers, they lock up the NFC's top seed. It does not matter, win or lose in this week. Uh, the Saints and the Rams, like we mentioned, the Saints get in due to the 49ers having a tough matchup this week 
and the Saints have an, an easier matchup against the Atlanta Falcons. So it's in their favor, really, to clinch that wildcard spot. And I know that they want some revenge against the Rams in the playoffs, for sure. Uh, I don't want to bring back some distant memories because I know Sean Landry is probably tuning in. But uh, the Eagles and the Buccaneers in the playoffs as well. This should be a good game with Jalen Hurts. Nick Sirianni clinching his first playoff spot uh, last week in his coaching career. And then the Cardinals and the Cowboys rematch. Hey, at AT&T Stadium, Kyler Murray, 8-0, beat the, uh, the Cowboys just last week. And he has a chance to do that again if that were to happen. So that happens if all the favorites win. We're going to release our weekly picks later on today on uh, who you guys voted on social media is the favorite to win each game, as well as give our opinions on who we think is going to win each game. But if you agree, disagree with these playoff scenarios, do you think that this is going to happen? Leave your comments, leave your thoughts down below. would love to talk to you guys, interact with you guys on what's going to happen in an exciting week 18.